This is an ultrasound clip demonstrating normal ocular anatomy. A linear probe is used as delineated by the shape of the footprint at the top of the screen. This view is obtained by placing the probe in a transverse orientation over the patient's closed eyelid with the probe indicator directed towards the patient's right side. Copious gel should be applied to the eyelid, ideally without a tegaderm, as this can distort imaging if air is trapped between the tegaderm and the probe. Let's look at some important anatomy from superficial to deep. At the top of the screen, we can identify an anechoic anterior chamber seen here. Just deep to this is our iris, which appears hyperechoic. A few millimeters below this is our lens, seen here, and just below it, our anechoic area here is our vitreous. Deep to this is our retina layer, which normally is indistinguishable from the back of the eye unless there's a detachment. This hypoechoic area here is our optic nerve. When performing ocular ultrasound, it's important to remember that this is a dynamic examination. After placing the transducer in a transverse orientation, the patient should be asked to look up, down, left, and right to evaluate the entire globe, looking for any signs of echogenic debris or membranes within the vitreous that would be indicative of pathology. Slight fanning movements can also be performed to evaluate the entire eye. This process should then be repeated with the probe in a sagittal orientation to complete the exam.